Hey, it's Miss Alana, and we are working on today's math practice. It is Tuesday, April the April the 12th. I had to think about that one, and we're working on number five. All right. So the domain of this question is number and operations in base 10, and the standard is number seven. And you can read it with me right here. Um, Add and subtract within 1,000 using concrete models or drawings and strategies based on place value, properties of operations, and or the relationship between addition and subtraction. Relate the strategy to a written method. All right, so the question says, subtract, then check your answer by adding. All right, so I have 700 minus 492. All right, so first we start in the ones place right here what is zero take away two can you do zero take away two? Oh no zero can't take away two from that so we need to do what borrow from a friend let's borrow from zero ah that zero has nothing either you can't borrow from that zero either zero's like i don't have anything we gotta go talk to number seven number seven can we borrow okay so seven is going to regroup, all right? So seven becomes a what? A six, just like that. Don't forget to regroup correctly, okay? And this zero in the tenths place becomes a 10. So that becomes a 10. So that zero is like, yeah, I borrowed from the seven. Now I'm a 10. All right, but then the zero is like, hey, man, remember, I need to borrow. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. So zero looks at the 10. Hey, Dan, can I borrow? Okay. So now the 10 becomes a what? Nine. And the zero in the ones place becomes a 10. Just like that. All right, now we can subtract. 10 take away two. What's 10 take away two? You should know your fact, families. 10 minus two, or what number plus two is 10? Eight. Just like that. And then we have nine take away nine. What's nine take away nine? Oh, that's so easy. That's zero. And then six take away four. What's that? That is two. So the answer is 208. Now, are we done? Oh, no, we're not done because what do we need to do now? We need to check our answer. And how do we check that? By adding. Remember, fact families are not just for small numbers. Big numbers can be in fact families too, okay? So what operation is this? Subtracting. So the opposite of subtracting is adding, all right? So we're going to have to add, and I'm going to draw an arrow here so you know what we're adding, okay? So we're going to add 492 plus 208. You see my arrow? I drew that there. Um, so we're going to add that number and that number. So write those numbers down. 492 plus 208 plus equal sign. Now, remember, we said to check that, to check if they're in the same family, we're going to add it. Now, when I do this answer, what should my answer be? It should be the 700 that we started out with, okay? So let's do that. So we're gonna do two plus eight, which is 10. Write the zero, put the one over the tens place, and then one plus nine is 10, plus zero is 10. So I need to write the zero and put the one over the hundreds place, and then I have one plus four is five, plus two is seven. 700, oh yeah, uh-huh, I did it, I did it, you did it, we did it, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, not done yet because you need to do what? Explain. So explain, make sure you write down right here what you did to solve that problem because you did an awesome job, yay, we did that right. So get that done, thumbs up when you're done, and then move on to the next question. Woohoo, yay.